It is Arts here and welcome to a new video and today we're on no escape and this video is about 30 plus minutes long It's actually really long one of my longest videos ever So that's really hype. Let me know what you guys think about these long videos If you guys like them just leave a like on this video Let me know leave a comment and let me know what you thought of it And yeah, it's double XP right now So if you guys ever planned on playing world 3 escape or if you think or if after you watch this video If it changes your mind make sure to hop on join my clan chat arts i'm gonna be in here whenever i'm on so make sure to join my clan chat and it should be really fun if you guys would like to join me i'm gonna be working on my iron man my main I'm, i hardly play anymore on world 3 just because i have everything other than the le arcane and spectral so it gets kind of boring but yeah if you guys ever do plan on playing definitely join it it's definitely worth it so yeah I'll see you guys in game, let me know what you guys think of this video again, let me know if you like these lengthy videos, and I can make more. See ya. Yo, what's going on guys, it's Arts here, and welcome to a new video, and we're starting off a uh, World 3 Iron Man series, which a lot of you guys seem to want. I've been suggested it a lot, and I also did a straw poll, and it seemed like a majority of people wanted it, compared to people who didn't want it. So yeah, we're doing an Iron Man on World 3, which I'm really excited about because PVMing on here on my main is extremely fun and I can't wait to do it on my Iron Man. It's going to be so nice to just collect all the drops. So yeah, we're currently, this is our like account. Uh, as you can see, we're basically 99 cooking and fishing, but I'm saving those. For, I was saving it to record it, but obviously I could do that any second I want to now. But we're going to work on thieving because apparently Master Farmer is the best way so i could get my low level seeds so i could use those seeds to work start um farming and shit so i could get the good old games of prayer potions and stuff when i want to do zora so yeah right now we're just gonna be doing this all right guys just hit 15 thieving i'm not sure what that's gonna lock me but i'm pretty sure i could do something else now so we're gonna go and head straight to where is it i don't even see it anymore i'm blind okay Lumbridge Cow Farmer, I guess, if I could do that. And with that, 40 thieving. Oh, that's a fail. 40 thieving, so now we could do these guards. How much XP? 936, not too shabby. Alright, I just remembered, I only need 38 for Master Farmer, but... Um, as you can see, you actually get caskets from pickpocketing guards, which is kind of cool. I like how you could get caskets from, like, doing any skills. It's kind of cool. I mean, not any, but... So far I've gotten it from thieving and what's it called, um, fishing, so yeah, interesting. And this is my current bank for anybody wondering. Um, you're probably wondering how the heck do you have a full void and every single helmet? I have literally every untradeable. And if you're wondering why, that's because I have bought donations on this account from my main account when I used to have, like, a decent bank. I, uh, invested a lot of money to donations, so I only have 161 donated. I need $89 for the next rank. I might start saving up for that on World 2 with my World 2 bank that I have. I have like a maybe 900k bank on World 2 right now. So I might start buying some more donations. But yeah, that's pretty nice, I guess. Having all the intradables all the way already. So once I start Zora, it shouldn't be too hard. But let's go get some seeds. Well, hold on. I, got, I gotta mute this stream. It's just... Alright, I don't want to scroll down because I changed my password just now, but... Your purchase of 125 Warrior Guild tokens, not that I need it, but it adds up to the $5, and a rune pouch, so we now have a rune pouch, which is really nice, so yeah, just donated for that, well I didn't donate for it, I bought the donation on my other account, so we officially have a rune pouch, nice. Alright guys, um, just bought a, what's it called, another donation for, f for 10 bucks. I was replying to the guy, but we did another ten dollar donation and we got two bronze keys So if you don't know what this is guys you get these from Skatizo and it's a it's a key that you use on this little fence over here, I guess and You have a one in ten chance of getting a very rare Skatizo loot So I have a two in five chance pretty much right here. So uh I doubt I'll get anything. I'm not sure if it gives you- I wonder if you could like get nothing, like absolutely nothing, or if, there, if it gives you something every time, like maybe some cash or something. I guess we'll see. This jail is locked, blah blah blah. 
And you look at the key you carry, which seems to glow from dark energy. It's the same size as the lock on the door. Yes, open the door. Come on, good luck. You take the key and insert it to the lock. Key seems very fragile, and it looks like it can break at any moment. If you break it, you turn it. It could break if you turn it. Okay. I want to rescue it. Good luck. That's all you get? You don't get anything? You just get straight ashes? Oh my god. I thought you'd get something at least. Come on. Good luck. No! Rip $10. Nah, no, it doesn't matter though. I'm just donating for the rank. $74 more to go and I am good to go. Alright guys, about to hit um, 70 thieving as you can see. Been doing a lot of thieving. As you can see, it, all, it doesn't even give that much XP, but it took a while to get 70. And that gave us a ton and ton of seeds. Um, I'm actually about to do a farm run in 10 minutes. And we're going to harvest our first amount of herbs. We did a little bit of farming, just like regular like potatoes and stuff like that. So yeah, we're going to see how much the guams give us. And plus we'll give us some er er like herb lore XP so we can start working towards our prayer potions, which is what we really need. But look at all these beautiful herbs, or seeds I should say. 24 Rainar seeds. 23 Torstals. Tons and tons of great herb seeds. I'll probably have to come back here sooner or later though, but yeah. I'm going to give you a little bank tour. Here's my main tab. It's just all the junk. Probably going to go fishing, or not fishing, but cooking later. Finish off these sharks. And also, here's my untradeables slash gear tab at the moment. I don't really have much, but I do have all the untradeables, which is really nice. But yeah, I mean, I really do want to get, um, what is it, 84 thieving. That's only 14 more levels. That way I could do Rogue's Chest. I'm not sure if it's any good on here or not, but I guess we'll find out. Alright guys, and with this thieve right here, 75 thieving, which means we could actually go do the um, gem stall. I'm not sure if that gives any good XP, but it will give a lot of gems that we will need. But, I mean, I guess we'll find out right now to see how the XP is. Okay, so you get 3.2 K XP. I think the respawn is really long, but you get gems. Oh, that's not too long. Maybe like 5 seconds, something like that. That's pretty good, I guess. Alright guys, we're actually about to make our first ever prayer potion. I wonder how much XP we get. Wow. That's actually really good. So, that's cool. Now we have a lot of prayer potions, I guess. So we could go start doing other stuff, probably. And the last prayer potion has been made. Let's see what level we got. I'm assuming around 50-ish. 54, nice. So what can we do now? Hmm. So we obviously can make a prayer potions. We've already done that. Super attack potions, nice. Can we do super strengths? Oh, one more level. But yeah, we're just going to be raking up a bunch of prayer potions, I think, for now. Because we definitely need them. Alright guys, uh, we just hit 84 thieving, which means we can actually do a rogue's chest now. Obviously we can't yet, we need 43 prayer, but once we get 43 prayer, we're probably going to go there. So I'm going to go start working on that, and I have a farm run in like, how long? Let me check. I have a farm run in about 18 minutes, about. So yeah, that's going to be cool once I could do that as well, because as you can see, I've been working on my herb lore and farming quite a bit. I've been doing the runs properly lately, so yeah, I mean, every 40 minutes your herb grows, which takes a while, but I kind of like it, I guess. I mean, I'm used to instant growing, like on other servers, but I mean, that's fine. But we do have 59 more Raynars so that we could turn into potions, so that should get us maybe level 60 or boy, I don't know. And we also have 74 prayer potions. Three, I'm not sure if the decanter works on here, I might have to do that manually. I think it actually does, I've done it on my main before, so yeah, that'll be cool. Alright guys, um, we just finished making even more prayer potions. That put us around 63 Urboy. Which opens us to a lot of things, as like super restores and stuff, but yeah. I'm actually about to decant these. Let's see how many we get. Oops. Wait. I have to like... There we go. 140 fucking prayer potions. Nice. Alright guys, just noticed I actually hit uh, 42 mage finally, so now I have 42 in every single stat, so that means I should be able to wear all the void pieces, which is really nice, so yeah. Alright guys, so basically while I'm doing this farm run, I'm going to be describe or explaining what is going on, um, I believe, which toll is this? I don't know which one this is. 
But yeah, basically what I've been doing lately is I've been playing other servers and doing stuff. I haven't really touched the server too much, but I'm back on it now, which is awesome. And I am going to probably open up a clan chat again. I, a lot of people used to be in my clan chat originally. I'm going to do it in Arts, though, just because, you know, it's, it's my actual name. So if you guys do want to join my clan chat, feel free to join Arts. I'm going to be in here all the time whenever I'm on. So yeah, I'm going to be playing my Iron Man a lot more now. Um instead of my main on world 3 just because i mean i already do so much pvming on my main i may as well do it on my iron man you know just stack up the drops make the bank look super nice and i never have to worry about losing it you know or staking it away but shit which one i think that was faldor i was already in but yeah it's gonna be a lot of fun i think going for all those milestones again that i once did on my main i pretty much accomplished everything besides spirit shields and it got boring at that point so that's why i stopped that and started this iron man but then I kind of got to the point where I just stopped completely playing OSCAPE. I needed a little break, but now I'm back on it. I'm really excited. There's a lot of updates coming that I, I can't really tell you guys about, but um, let's just say Bart and Nick are coming in hot soon. But it's going to be awesome. New advertisements coming in. It's going to be super fun, I think. And I really do hope you guys come and play with me because, you know, what, what am I looking for? Cannabis. Cannabis. I really do hope you guys come and play with me. I know a lot of you guys do like Iron Man on, on private servers, and this is one of the best ones, I'm not going to lie. Um, so, yeah. The farm runs on here, um, if you are wondering why, or like, what the heck I'm doing, why there's multiple patches, it actually, t it's just like old school, except it's a little shorter. It takes 45 minutes for them to grow, which is actually really cool. So, yeah. That's why it's taking, or like, why there's multiple patches you have to go to and such, so... I think that's really unique, a lot of servers don't have that, so yeah. I don't know what else to talk about, I really want this video to have more content, so I'm probably going to end or stop talking and rambling and just get more into clips right now, but I really do hope you guys come and join me. The clan chat is arts if you guys want to talk to me, please feel free. And I'm probably going to be doing streams on here, and I'm really excited for what is to come. And yeah, I guess I'll see you guys in the next clip, I guess. I mean, we're about to hit 60 farming, which is nice. Okay, so yeah, I was checking earlier on my main. Winter Todd is actually in the game already on the on on Oscape, and I really do want to go get 50 fire making ASAP after uh, this farm run. That way, I could test that out and see what the drops are. Because if you don't know, the um, drop or the loot crates on the old school and old school have been nerfed horribly. I wonder if they're still OP on here or if they're just custom. I don't know. Um, there's only one way to find out. So yeah, we're probably gonna get 50 fire making after this which shouldn't take too long just chop down a few trees you know get my wood cutting up while i'm at it get that total level up you know so that should be pretty nice and yeah i'll be back when i pr well, I'll probably get a farming level off this i assume so yeah brb there we go just hit 60 farming so that's really cool i believe i could actually start doing some certain tree seeds now which might be a good idea to get some more xp i could do up to use i'm not sure if i have any tree seeds but i'll check but yeah, look at how much Raynars I got from that trip. O over 40, that's really cool. Look how many Raynars we have now. 148. I'm probably going to go buy some more Snape Grass and then do all this, and or turn all these into Prayer Potions, decant them, and see what herbal level we get. Dang, we have access to so much stuff on here, like on uh, another server, Veldahar, you know? Um, there's so much stuff you have to do, that like extra, that you shouldn't have to do, like on Old School, but you can actually buy like Magic Short Bow, Rune Cross, but I don't think you can get... Can you get bolts is the question. Oh my... It's going to be so easy to get to the Zora phase. I mean, I'm literally already there. I just need to train up my range and, def or range and defense. And I could actually start doing Zora this episode. I'm actually going to probably work towards that. That should be really cool. I'm trying to find the secondary, the secondary, secondary shop because I can't seem to find it. I forget where it was. I haven't played in so long, remember? Oh, it has to be this guy. Okay, I found the um, the little area combat told me, you know, we're, we're not on best terms, but he probably doesn't know who I am. Alright, so this is apparently where you get it. Okay, I remember now. And it's noted. That is fucking beautiful. Oh. I guess I can't buy it in hundreds. Okay, that doesn't matter. That is beautiful, though. Uh, I'm probably going to stock up in all these, actually, right now. That way I don't have to worry about coming back later. And yeah, it should should be fun. Uh, one thing that I do reckon, I, I know I know you are situations are bar. One of you guys gotta be watching this. Add a add a world map box. It, it shouldn't take that long, but that'd be nice and useful. See, that's one of the con or pros of having herb lore or like farming take a while. 
you could get your herb lore secondaries simply by just buying them, unlike Veldar. That's one thing I don't like about that is where you have to kill hellhounds for your freaking secondaries, but that's cool. Got a lot of secondaries stocked up now. I'll throw that in the herb lore tab slash farming tab. We're going to make all these uh, prayer potions, and then I'll be back. Uh, we are currently 65 herb lore. Let's try and get 70, hopefully. And boom, there goes all of our rain our potion their prayer potions i guess that's 181 i don't think i think i have to go to the ge to decant but if this one works then i'll just do it here come on work there we go 135 extra prayer potions that's insane look how many we have stocked up uh we did plant rainars this time so next herb run i'll probably if i could do snapdragons i'll do snapdragons and start doing those let's see can i do snapdragons I could do snapdragons at 62, so I'll probably be able to do that next run. But the question is, I can make super restores, I believe. So, super restore potion 63. So, I'll probably start doing that until I could hit 72, um, 72 herb lore. Then I could actually start making raging potions, which I'll start needing dwarf weed. And I could use those raging potions for Zora. So, I'll probably try and get some. I'll, I'm definitely going to try and get some Zora kills in this episode. But now we're going to go work on our wood cutting for Winter Todd. Alright, just hit the 30 mark. So, we're actually really close to f getting 50. Um, now we could do Willow Tree. So, that should speed it up. And also, if you don't know, I'm really. I already know how Winter Todd is and how it works. And I, I mean, as you can see here, I'm already 99 on old school. Got the skill cape earlier today. I am pog champing. So yeah, I just AFK that or motherload mine while I play this, which works out well. So yeah, let's get 50 and then I'll be back. All right, guys, just hit 50 fire making. So that's really cool. Uh, 869 total level, not intended at all. But yeah, we're going to go try this mini game out. Hopefully it's not like exactly like old school to where you can't really solo it that well. I guess we'll see. <laughs> Hopefully you could solo it. Well, this is a really great way to get those starting fletching levels. You don't have to freaking sit there and cut regular logs. You could just come here and freaking cut these logs. Wow. Uh, this is actually not as hard as I thought it would be. It's pretty easy solo. I, I'm not sure if I'm good on food or not, but if I just light every single burner from it, or it would be it die in it would die really fast. So, yeah, I'll probably end up. This is really gonna be really fun to do on stream and stuff. Maybe with you guys, I think that this would be a really cool event kind of thing to do. And I should. I'm probably gonna do that um, sometime tomorrow, more than likely. Uh, but obviously, before this video goes up, I'm not sure. We'll see. Okay, so there's a few things I want to say about Winter Todd, and the first one is our being. You actually can AFK it on here, unlike on old school, because when you get damaged on old school by the cold or whatever. It, it's, it stops what you're doing and you have to redo what you're doing. On here, if you get damaged like that, oh, I, I didn't even move. You, you still continue doing what you're doing, which is always really cool. So yeah, it makes it more handy and more AFK. I'm gonna get the first loot crate and show you guys what we get. Hopefully we can get some like really cool tree seeds or something, or I don't know, I, I really don't know what to expect, but yeah. Fuck. All right guys, first game is about to be completed. Oh, is this really gonna ruin it? Okay, nice. What? Two mil X? What? I just got two million XP for completing that game. Is that is this broken? <laughs> I got one K points and then I got two million XP, which put me to eighty-two. What the? And I got two crates. So that's how this works. Okay, so every five hundred points you get a second, cr or you get two crates, or you get one crate every five hundred points. So I'm assuming that's how it is. What the hell? That's good. Okay, that's crazy. All right, let's open up these crates. 60 tea clogs. Oh, it only gives you one roll. That, okay, that sucks. But wow, that's 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 two million XP. Okay, we're gonna definitely try again. Another game about to end. Let's see what kind of crazy XP drop we might get. We didn't get. Uh, oh my, 2.3 mil. Yeah. What the hell? That's insane. So just a few Winter Todd games and you're done with fire making pretty much. Well, let's open up these crates and see what we get. 46 U logs, 52 gold ore. Yeah, seems like it's the um, pre-nerf rates that Winter Todd had on old school. So, okay, well that's enough Winter Todd for the day or the episode. We only did two, but maybe I'll save the rest of 99 for when I do it on stream or something. That definitely should be nerfed in my opinion. Two mil XP game, that's retarded. 
But anyways, we're going to go and I think we're going to tr start training our range and defense so we can start working towards Zora, honestly. I do have a farm run I'm about to go do. And then, yeah, should be should be good to go. Just realized I need 79 farming to do dwarf weeds. So I need 79 farming to get the herb that I need for ranging potions. Oh my god. I'm almost positive that's what level we needed for ranging potions. Yeah, we need dwarf weed. How else would I get dwarf weed? What the? Yep. Okay, so I just planted a bunch of quorms instead. Because they're a higher level farming herb, and so it should give me more XP. Plus, I need some, I'll need i need it for super strengths. Next up, I'll probably try and do some... Well, I'll do corms until I can do snapdragons, and then those will give me some good farming XP more than likely. The faster I get to 79, the more easier Zora is going to be. So now we're going to go train our range, and we're just get a decent range level and go tempt Zora. Well, turns out I can't even wear void unless I have 22 prayer? I'm almost positive that isn't a thing on old school, but we could get that really easily, I guess. Uh, probably go safe spot. Or not not even safe spot, but go kill like a hell giant or something. Alright guys, just finished a trip at Green Dragons. That should get us the prayer level we need. Um, I do need 30... I need at least 40, but 44 would be really nice. I doubt I'll get that from these bones. If not, then I'll probably just come back or I'll go to Black Dragons because there's always that chance of Vissy. I mean, really slim, but you know. Let's go use all these bones to see what level we get. Alright, coming up on our last bone and we get level 42 prayer. One, two levels off. So we're going to go back to Green Dragons just because it'll be really fast. Shouldn't take too long, just a few kills. Alright guys, this should, us, or should, us, should get us the level... Boom, 44 prayers, so we now have, I, ugh, I can't even speak English, we now have Eagle Eye, which is really good, so we are now going to be able to wear our full void as well. I forgot to wear that when I went back, I'm an idiot. Should be able to equip it now. Yes, oh, that looks so beast. So now we're going to just go train our range up, probably through Slayer, so let's go get a Slayer test. Okay, so we keep getting this Dagonoth task, and I could go to Dagonoth Kings and just do, I think it's Supreme, and just camp Supreme. But it'll be really hard because I won't be able to, like, kill the other ones, and then just only camp Supreme, so I'm gonna unfortunately have to skip that task. Alright, finished our first Slayer task. It was so long, I just safe spotted it. 70 range, 51 defense. Um, haven't been training defense, because I'll probably do that through melee. I don't, I really don't know if we're going to be able to do Zora because look how slow this XP is. Barely 70 range, it's, it's really slow. I don't know if I'll be able to do it this episode, but I'll try. Let's go get a new task. Alright guys, just finished making some potions. We're at 72 Herblore now, we just made a bunch of strength potions. Uh, may as well decant that, why not? I don't see the reason not to. And I think, do I use it on them? I forget. How do, you, how do you do this again? Decant? There we go. So we have 30 strength potions. That's really good for Slayer. I'm about to start streaming now, so hopefully we can get some nice clips while I'm streaming. Work on my combat a bit. I'm just going to be doing some Slayer. I want to get 85 combat so I can start using Neve. That'd be really nice. I do want to start working on range soon, though. That's the thing. But yeah, we'll see what we do. Alright, guys. Just finished doing some herb lore. We made a ton of super restores. We're at 50... We're going to decant these bad boys, obviously. Let's see what we get. Let's go to decant. Boom. 37 super stores from one farm run. That's actually really good. Plus, we got Herblore XP. 73. We're almost uh, 74 as well. So, yeah, we gained a level. Not too bad. 60 Slayer. That looks pretty good. Pretty good. Probably going to tap Zola real soon, boys. Okay guys, so I did get a blue dragon task. I really want to do it because it'll get me prayer XP and some decent range XP and it's AFK, you know. So we're going to go get 70 agility so we can use a shortcut. Shouldn't take too long and it would be nice just to have the agility level anyways for run energy replenishing. So yeah, let's go get some agility levels. Alright guys, we're about to hit 70 agility which is really nice because boom, we can now use the agility shortcut in Taverly for whenever we get the... Um, blue dragon tasks which is really nice so i'm gonna go and do that 
Uh, I got 30 blood money while doing it from 52 to 70 here, which is actually pretty cool that you get blood money from skilling out here. I don't know if it's just the Wilderness Agility course or if it's everything, but it's really cool to get some, um, or have a way for our Ironmen to get blood money for when they want to imbue their rings and such. So I'll take it. That's not too bad, I guess. I mean, it's not that much, but then again, for a main, that's like insane money right there. So yeah, we're going to go get it, or do our blue dragon test. I'll be back after it's done. Okay, so I just got done getting DDoSed by Sam for a freaking hour until I had to call my ISP and change my IP again. But we're back and we just finished another blue dragon task, or a blue dragon task. I didn't even know I finished until now. We have a lot of bones. I'm probably going to use those on the altar in a sec, but let's go get a new task and see what we can get. I am 78 Comet, so I still can't use Neve. I probably should work on that, but oh well. I really want to get my range up ASAP so I could start doing Zora. Like, I, I'm always saying that. It's probably getting annoying by now. But, yeah, let's go get a new task, guys. All right, so we just got a cave horror task. I, f I didn't... Ugh, I should buy a gem. I need to get a gem. I think I might have one in the bank. So, we have cave horrors. So, we may as well go and ch try and get a chance at getting that black mask. Uh, do I have a gem? Please tell me I have one. I do not. So, I'm going to go get a gem first. So, I don't lose count this time. And let's see if we can get a black mask. All right, guys. We just made a ton of super stores. And I, we just did a farm run and got some super strength or attacks finally because we needed those. That put us at 76 herb lore, which is really nice. The faster we get to, I think it's 91 or 90. Okay, for super comets, the better. So that'll be really good for um, bossing. Let's see how many we got. So 31 super stores and 46 super attacks. That's really nice. So let's go and get that black mask. Ooh, got a black mask this task with 22 left. Was not expecting that. That is sweet. So now we never have to worry about doing cave horrors again. Um, so that's really awesome to get. Super hyped about that. And for those who don't know, it is 1 in 208. And I believe I... Can I check the log? I can't really check my log until I get a Slayer Helmet, I'm pretty sure. So that sucks. I'm not sh I don't remember how much I got assigned as a task, though. But I did get extremely lucky. And this is how you get PogChamp range XP. <laughs> Look at this. Jesus Christ. I forgot I had um, Chinchampas, so I thought I'd come here and use some of them real quick. Get some Armadillo kill count, you know. And it's, it's working out well. Look at these chins go. Alright, so we used some of our chins. Almost a hundred of them. Um, if you're wondering how I got that, I saved those from the mystery box. That's the only thing I kept from my mystery box, just because I knew it would come in handy. But, yeah, we just used a bit. I'm not going to really use the rest. I mean, we gained a range level, kind of getting close to towards our second level. I'm not sure how much XP we gained in total, but we're just going to save that for when we do Armadillo or something, honestly. It's not really worth wasting at the moment, but, yeah, we're going to go get a new task and see what we have to do. And there goes our task completed, should be. Did it? I swear, it doesn't give us Slayer points or some shit, but that's a task completed. Now we're going to have to go back and go home. I left a staff. Oh, well. that's at, That puts us at 72 Slayer. Get off me, you noob. 72 Slayer, 74 uh, Strength. You know, so we got 70 Defense as well, which is really nice. And we're still 84 range, but I might go do a Zora kill right now, to be honest. I'm a little bit bored of Slayer just sitting here AFKing this stuff. Um... I'm really tempted to go do his aura kill, so I think that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go on a farm run and farm run and then do his aura kill. Alright guys, time to attempt some Zora. I remember last time it used to be so easy. Hopefully it's not changed too much or changed it at all. Uh, just have our basic void with some rune arrows. You, this is what I used on the previous one I was on my main, but I would have black DI and stuff in it. It was pretty fast, so yeah, let's go do our first attempt and let's see what we get. Alright guys, we're actually about to get our first Zora kill. If I could hit it. There we go. Let's see what we get in before Blowpipe first kill. You just never know no nowadays. A turquoise headed serpent. Wait, what? Oh, that's the exam. Let's just look at the drop rates. 1 in 500. But there's a 1 in 166 chance of a random unique, which is really good. So, magic logs. Not too bad. And some, some dragon bolt tips. I could use that on some regular rune bolts and probably get some some dragon bolts so i mean that's pretty decent i used three sips of a prayer potion for my first kill considering i'm only 84 range it's not even that bad so yeah i'm considering i have like 200 fucking prayer potions in the bank how many do i have 
I have 266, so prayer potions really aren't that big of a deal, but ranging potions are. But I'm pretty close to the farming level. I'm, uh, I just need 79, and then I can start farming dwarf weeds for ranging potions, which is always nice. Alright guys, another kill. In bef Please know I can get this. I might actually have to sip a prayer potion. Rip. That actually damaged me, didn't it? Uh, it would be nice if we get some pure essence or something. Something nice that we could use for skilling. So let's see. Or drop. You never know nowadays. Addy bars. Eh, that's not too bad. Tor's still not useful until 90 herb war, so that's kind of lame. But Addy bars, that's really good for later on when I do have to worry about um, the smithing grind. So I guess I'll take it. I'm going to just chill and do Zora. I'll just get a few kills and just show you the loots afterwards uh, in my inventory or something. And then we'll, I guess, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Alright guys, last uh, kill from Zora. Got some death runes, not too bad. So this is what we got in 8 kills, Some plus the, what I banked. I forget what I got on my first kill that I banked. Nothing really too useful. The Toad Flax will be good when I can make brews, which I don't think I can make yet until... Where is it? 81, so that's not really not that far, actually. And Torso I can't use, obviously. Addy Bars won't be able to use. Battle Stabs, um, Fletching XP, I guess. Or Crafting XP, I mean. And some Death Rings, which is always really good. So we're going to go and do some more Slayer now. I do want to work towards 85 Slayer to get that whip. Um, so yeah, we'll see you after some Slayer. Took long enough, but we finally got a task that I feel like doing, and we got Dagonoth. So what I'm going to do is probably multi-log and go on my other account, on my main, and uh, kind of duo in a way, but I'm just going to kill the other two on my main while I just focus on one on this account. And I'm going to be focusing, I think it's Prime, or whichever one drops the Archer's Ring that you melee, so that's what we're going to be doing. Good luck, us. Well, this is what we're doing. We're soloing our Prime, or Supreme, I mean, on our Iron Man while we do... Uh, Supreme and Rex on this account, so that's always cool. So I could get, you know, work on both accounts, you know, why not? From Nikelm, I don't know why I feel like that's rare, but... Yeah, so that's what I'm doing for these next few... Or, for this task, I guess. Hopefully we could get a Archer's Ring, that'd be really cool. And before on can... Rip. We're gonna get a lot of Prayer XP, though, from these Dagnoth Bones, which is really good. Man, getting 59 Snapdragons from one herb run is... That's insane. We're going to start saving up all our herbs and stuff because apparently double XP is supposed to be turned on sometime today. It's 2 a.m. here, so technically today, but tomorrow when I wake up. So I'll probably do all my herbs like that and the can canatines and shit all tomorrow for the double XP. Possibly hitting, or probably, more than likely, 100% going to hit 80 or more, so that's pretty cool. Well, um, I sniped myself for a drop on my main account. I just got a Dragon Axe. Hmm. That'd be awesome to get on the Iron Man. I'll probably end up getting it anyways as soon as I go for all, th all the ring hunts anyways. I'll probably get duplicates, but... Yeah, rip, I guess? I, d I don't know. Dude, these freaking U-Log drops here are insane. I've gotten two so far. That was back-to-back U-Log drops, and I have 226 U-Logs. That's going to be crazy for when we do fletching this weekend. Man. Alright guys, finishing our last Dagonoth kill for the task. Beautiful 36 Slayer points. Nice. So, no no Archer's Ring, unfortunately. It's only a 1 in 64 and we've killed 59, so that kind of sucks, but oh well. Probably going to just camp uh, Dagonoth tasks until 75, kind of. I feel like I should to get my rings. And it's actually decent XP, you know, 5k each. I mean, it's not that great, considering what else you could get from doing other things, but... It's nice and chill and relaxed, and plus you get a lot of U-Bones and stuff. U-Bones. U-Logs. 104 Black Dragons. I might do that just because it's safe, spottable, AFK, and I have a chance of a Vissy. Probably not that high of a chance, but let's find out. Alright guys, I'm going to be ending the episode here. It is 33 minutes long, and that is well... That, that is way too long. Um... Let me know if you guys like these uh, these super long videos on World 3 or not, because I could definitely keep doing them. Just let me know. As progress goes by, it will be harder, though, to, to bring out videos, as you know. Just like what happened with my last World 3 progress series, just got to the point where I, it was just it takes so long to do anything. But 
yeah, it's double XP right now, so if you guys do want to hop on, I suggest you do. I'm going to be grinding this weekend and probably bring out another double XP related video, so I'm probably going to be going towards that max cape, you know, getting those gains. Let me know what you guys think, and I guess I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching so much, and peace.